Hello and welcome to Phoenix Point. So we are heading into the mist to deal with uh, uh, some guys, and uh, I'm not sure if we are ready. I think we may need more supplies. Can we just up the supplies a little bit before we head out? Hmm. Let's get another med kit. Can we just go double med kit on everybody? So we have one spare ammo. Hopefully, yeah, just 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 fill out. Oh yeah, this is just it. Maybe not even. Let's have triple here. Triple med kit. What else we got? So Fred is the is really known for his uh, grenades. But the grenades actually kind of have a downside, is that you take a long time to make them. And the medkits are instant. Um, okay. I guess I would prefer a grenade here. Instead of like... Well, the thing is, if he's carrying a bunch of uh, AR ammo, that's fine. We can, we can trade it. I just make sure... Uh, we have more heals. Oh, who cares about this guy? So we're carrying overall nine heals. And there's nothing else we really need. I think we're maybe ready. I just want to make sure that we're taking as much stuff as possible so we don't lose the missions. Oh shit, we, we actually can't take more stuff. Um, let's take more grenades. Do we need more ammo? I don't know. Let's take more ammo. Ammo, grenades and, and uh, heals. So we better come prepared. He's not, he's not that prepared, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, actually, we don't need the uh, ammo on switch. We can just take grenades. Okay. Let's go. Area scan. Let's not do that. Let's deploy it. Locate an little mate. Hatch. Ching, uh, sentinels to destroy the nest. Be aware of Pandora and defense system. Sentinels will trigger if a soldier is in sensor range or attacks them. Eggs will hatch if a soldier gets too, gets close. Really? Okay. It's actually medium threat level. Okay, let's deploy the squad. So... Hopefully, we're gonna be just fine. We're in a cavern now. Here. And uh, I guess the jetpack is not gonna be super useful. We have three ways to go? No, maybe two. Two ways to go down a dodgy, narrow, corridor ish thing. And maybe over there. Okay, uh. Cameron is the scout. And Oh, free enemy spotted right off the bat? Holy shit. <clears throat> I'm ready. Okay, we can spot one from over here. Wait, we can't. Okay. Over here. Moving to position. Oh. 
Well, I guess we're gonna take the shot. And not move. What can we do? We can shoot at this, uh... Hatchling Sentinel. Tanky torso. And less tanky head. But that's about it. At least from what I can tell right now. Uh, we can take the shot. I Fire guess we're gonna... Target. Stay back. Uh, what does it do? Hatches all legs within 20 tiles. Oh shit. It's gonna do it next turn. Fuck. What's our move? Preparing to fire. Oh, uh, why, 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 might as well do that. Okay. Minus 20 armor. Uh, we probably should have done that as an opener. Can we just take out that uh, hatcher? Hatch link? Okay. Uh, That's our plan. So we can get a little closer. Do I want to get closer? Fuck. I don't know. It's kind of like a hatcher, right? Hatchling Sentinel. Fine. So it's it's basically watches over the hatchlings. Pretty obvious. Um, do I want to go back or do I want to go forward? Yeah. I want to give uh, Fred a way in. Pushing on. So we can destroy the Sentinel. We still have to deal with this uh, Triton. There's a blood sucking arm. If possible, I just want to run away. If he gets shot, that sucks, but it doesn't suck as much as. Okay, fine. Um, I can't kill the Triton. So I guess I'm gonna run away. Wait, enemy spotted again? Who? Oh, that's so far away. Doesn't matter. Um, I guess that's it. Fine, let's enter. That's pretty far away. Might go for a shot. You should be able to do something, considering how much the other one moved. Blood sucking arm. Pain Chameleon. Well, that was a pretty big hit. So we can get closer and maybe shoot him in the head. What about the heavy? The heavy can't do anything here. We can't fly anywhere. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's probably gonna spend the entire round just getting close. The interesting part is that Maybe we can dash in on this guy. And this one takes out uh, Triton. I mean, this one, I mean, Cameron Dragonbeards takes out uh, the, the particular Triton we're looking at with a headshot, maybe. No run nice. away, please. Just, just kill him. And we use the other. Salt, Fred, to get in close and take out the other guy with a dash. I like dashes. Hopefully, no melee attack. I mean, you can't run away, mate. Okay, well, I took 60 damage. Uh, perhaps uh, I think we should just heal, right? Making haste. I brought a bunch of heals. The last thing I want is just to die to some spike damage. I mean, by spike, I mean uh, very high damage. Okay, let's let's wait. Yeah. 
I should just say damage spike. <laughs> That's what a normal person would say. Uh, can we? No, we cannot get. I'm ready. In range. We can't spot him. Wait. Can we spot What's him? Plan? Uh, we can just chill here. And if they get too close. Get into the line of sight, then we kill him. Yeah. Can we just do a? Can you just do a heal? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Pop the heal. That's fine. That's not great. I'm not sure where to go. Okay, enter. What did they hit? We just don't know. Oh no, he's dead! Oh, of course! Channel open. Oh, right. From here? Oh no, from here too? We can make a shot on the guy? Um... I believe you. Let's do this. Doesn't mean it's easy. Targeting. I mean, okay. This might be a kill. Shot went wide. I mean, I'm not even sure how you took that shot, but... Sure. Wait, what? We can take a shot from here as well? Ready to engage. Wow. Okay, then. He's so far away! No way. I, I, I just played safe. I'll keep my eyes open. I mean, Sniper was fine, but... Others are just gonna... Holding uh, tank. And wait. And yeah, I just played safe. Boy. Hit! Oh my god, it down. worked. It is possible that we just... yeah. We definitely hit the, the thingy behind, uh, before us. So it pierced that, then killed him. Our leg is wounded. If our arm... Uh, get, goes red, uh, just gets very wounded, then we can even use the gun. So... She is the one who is the scout. But we're just doing it slowly. Drift away all hatchling sentinels. And considering how big the map seems, uh, we just basically did nothing so far. Alright, uh, I guess... Uh Start coming closer. Uh, but don't go too far. Let's go. If anyone pops around the corner, there. I mean, we're good. All right, maybe the heavy can go in. All right, let's let's do a. Oh shit! Where's that? I'm actually not sure. Oh fuck! We're flanked. Oh man, the flanker needs to die for sure. Uh, let's do a dash. Uh, Fred is doing it. Fuck yeah. Fred, you got this. Preparing to fire. No! Come back! Can we just uh, throw a grenade at him? He's hiding somewhere here. Enemy killed. He's dead. Even though we don't see his corpse. Receiving loud and clear. One guy, very far away. We can take Ready a shot. Fire. Not a great shot. 
Okay, get get closer. Uh, I'll just take him out. We can get even closer. Enemy spotted. Oh shit! Two enemies spotted. Two eggs. Oh fuck! I suppose these are the things that get hatched by the hatchling uh, sentinel. Oh crap! What do we do? I guess we're just gonna wait for now. There's nothing to do. Can I just get in range? Okay, let's dash in. Pushing on. Shoot at some eggs. Oh shit! We see that. Oh fuck. Ready to fire. Okay, we can take out the the egg. Eggs. Maybe one egg. I think that works better than trying to take out the sentinel. Because we can't, that's too, too big. Oh shit. Uh, we can throw a grenade maybe. Let's see now. Um... I mean, that's the best I could do. Minus six armor. Well, that's it for now. They hatch. And it's a bit of an RNG what you get. We got a fire slug. Another fire slug. And I don't know what that is. Oh shit. This place. Holy fuck! What is this? Mind controlled at the cost of two APs per turn for the controller. Am I supposed to shoot you in the head now? I mean, what the fuck? I was I was playing safe. And I just got rushed by Nova. <laughs> this bullshit game. This bullshit I'm telling you. Okay, um, how strong is that thing? Can we just see it on the ground? No, we, the other one ran away, I think. No, we see him. It's 110 HP. It's not even that bad. I mean, I'm a little hesitant yeah. to uh, go for a headshot on one of my own guys. Cameron Dragon Beards. I mean, a hatchet in your head. Oh, actually, that just seems... Oh, the Mind Fragger is actually only have 50 HP? That that needs to be a very precise shot. Yeah. Let's just dash in. Not... not grenades. Aiming. I don't know, it needs to be so much more precise than that. I'm ready. He's kinda useless. Oh my fucking god. What do we do? I mean, I can use the sniper rifle for it, maybe. Can we use the pistol? Can we use the sniper rifle on anybody else? Okay, what if I use the pistol to try to take uh, down this face hugger? Based on each HP, it should be good enough. Although, the chance of missing is... is reasonable. But this, this, this is a decent shot, I think. Oh my god, the face hugger is off. Wow. Uh, let's go for a sniper shot. Targeting. I mean, that's fine. It's a bit of an odd shot. Definitely an odd shot. Uh, Fred needs to come closer. I mean, it, it doesn't have any more X to spawn, so, I mean, I guess that is not a concern. Uh, not sure what to do with the heavy. Uh, he basically has nothing to do. Cameron, although is uh, she's back, she's not really back. Interesting. 
in Fredno. Channel open. But I can't hit the slug. I would need to get a lot closer to even have a chance at hitting the slug. And I think we just need to just run in the open. So let's say I come over here. This is the only position that Ready allows to us to hit the slug. Wait, what? Wait, what? We have half a clip in the gun? Really? Only three bullets? I mean, that might work against the slug, but actually it won't. Then all the bullets would need to hit. Well, I can go for a reload, but then we would not have enough uh, action points to shoot. I have two options. Either I rush in and try to go for a hero shot on the worm, which will almost guarantee to fail, or just just go back. Moving. I just assume that the w I don't think I'm I'm gonna I'm ready to give up the hero shot. Actually Yeah, I mean I'm not ready to give up the hero shot, but I, I think it's kinda stupid. Actually he can be the hero too. If he can somehow Oh shit! Oh shit! I have a plan? We punch the fire worm. Okay. And it was 165 damage. Is it? Is melee based on the the damage of my my weapon? Or what is it based on? Is it based on my strength? We're still learning here. The Phoenix Superia might actually help with that. Oh yeah, decent shot. So it seems like if we get shot, we shoot back half a clip. I don't think we can open the Phoenixopedia from over here. So we can rush in. Quite a bit. Uh, that can wait. Uh, we are not dealing That's with the, the toughest opponents here. Is it possible to miss a melee attack? What's our plan? I mean, rushing in on that guy seems pretty good. Yeah. In Fred, no. Well, actually, we can't do uh, a rush. We don't have enough uh, willpower. Uh, we can do a dash here. So we dash in, but then we gotta take two shots. Oh shit. Uh, no, screw that. We gotta deal with uh, the current threat. Then we can start working on the egg. Oh. But we don't have enough bullets. Switching. Let's reload. Um. Get over there. I think the the eggs spawn units with like maybe limited or or no action points. I'm not sure. But I don't believe they have full action points. So we can get closer and possibly kill a worm. Targeting. No, we can only hit this. Uh, well, if if that is the case, we can just get closer and try to go for a different overwatch shot. In Fredno. Um, I need to deal with the worms. Holding position. We might just take back the heavy. Uh, just uh, a little bit. If they come over here, just blow them up. Like that. I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah, that's all we got. One hatch. It's a face hugger. 
That's nice. Face hugger is. Oh shit. Uh, I should look at the face hugger. It seems like it has like maybe it costs him like one action point. Not my guy. I want to check the face hugger, but I think we can check it uh, once it's already face hugging. I'm ready. I can't dash. Wait, what? Can we just go in close and melee it off? Why can't we go for an attack here? Am I out of bullets? I am out of bullets. Here. I guess we can... No, we can't try that. It's too far away. Channel so basically I have three options to deal with the face hugger potentially. We run in close and just hope... Just hope... That... Uh, it's fine. I don't know if it's fine. So this would be a learning experience. I just try this. I, Running. But I don't know if this works. Uh, I'm not my own soldier. I want to hit the face hugger. Okay, nice. I mean, it should work, but just in case, Achieving. it's just the stupidest thing ever. I don't want to lose two soldiers. Maybe. <laughs> I'm a coward, okay? Like, considering I play on the hardest difficulty for the first time... Let well, just allow me to be a little careful. Uh, let's just remove the mushroom. That's the mission, right? Destroy all hatching sentinels. We already destroyed one. It's two. I wouldn't be surprised if this, has, this place has uh, more than two. Maybe it's randomly spread out, but if I, we found overall four, I, I could see like four in this area maybe, considering how big it is. Uh, can we just use pistols? Yeah, not that. One hundred damage. There you go. Are we are we good? Yeah! Attack the Pandora nest. Oh injured. Okay, sure. Go back to Geoscape. Why not? Relations with factions uh, cannot progress to supportive until you complete their Diplomacy mission. Okay. Sure. Uh, at this point, it's just fucking hate factions. The only good thing about them is that they give me guys. Oh, uh, attitude vent up of everybody. Everyone likes me uh, kicking alien butt. And we also found a pistol, which deals 60 damage, 14 range, one action point, a lot of ammo. Let's use one. It's cool. Sinidrian probably seems strange to you. Trying to build a better world. A world radically different from the one most of us grew up in. Well, I'm sure it sounds very utopian. But why do we so easily accept the world getting worse and can never imagine it getting better? Look, under normal circumstances, I would be totally on board with all this, let's just uh, try to interpret the world uh, in multiple different ways and try to, you know, think of a better future. But I have one word, fucking aliens. It's actually two words, but the first one actually kind of comes with it. How about deal with those first, then, you know, then we build some uh, whatever you want to build, like mushroom houses. Whatever, and we sing Kumbaya. The world never gets better. That's just... No. If you look at it objectively, the world got a lot better over the years. 
uh, not not mean recent years, but like overall, even despite humanity's best efforts to fuck it over, the world can get better, but not the way Sinedrion is doing it. Ooh, I'm calling you out personally. The world can definitely get better. There you go. They I'm like glad that. our values are aligned, at least in this matter. Please keep thinking about what kind of world you want to live in. Maybe we can build it together. Ha, what a sucker you are. You just basically phoned me up just so, so I reinforce your beliefs. Hmm? With words alone. Okay, well, let's get me some med kits. I don't know, like, I guess we're gonna make some of these. Research. Oh shit. Mindfragger gives us stuff. Stuff. Damage inflicted on hatching uh, sentinels is increased by 15%. No. No. Oh, yes! Oh, reverse engineer the pistol. So I can start making pistols like that. But... Do I want to? Because if you look at the sniper... Let's see what pistol we got. It deals 50 damage. And this one deals... 60 damage. Don't I have a, like a, a fastest pistol coming up or did I already did the research on that or am I just completely going insane? I don't think so. I, I, I think I... Did I click on some pistol research or is it still going? Oh yeah, Hephaestus 2 pistol is... It's kind of like the regular pistol but it has more range and more ammo and that's it. I don't even care about this. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Pause. No, fuck. Cancel it. I want my Hephaestus pistol back. I think we lost the Hephaestus pistol. Required items to start. Zero out of one. Wait. Don't I have it? Did we lose it? Or is someone using it? I don't think so. Do we have a pistol back? That's just the ammo. I don't know if you need this uh, pistol. I mean, we can use it. I think that's a better, just a better pistol. But do we need to focus on that? I, I don't really need that. I don't really care about any of these. I guess we can just get stuff like Pandoran colonies. Um. Yeah, just get stuff. Maybe that's Plan B. I mean, ultimately, I think uh, picking up the hatching sentinels can be a good choice. So we can focus down this uh, hatching sentinel faster. That probably makes more sense. So we can move it up. I if we are dealing with hatching sentinels, then that's nice, I guess. Uh, yeah. It's destroyed. We can go back to base, just heal up. I popped a search. That that costs me stuff to do. I just I just wait in, at the base. Manufacturing all the time. Uh, Hell Cannon 2, the Scarab, the Odin Grenades. Oh man. I can't get I can't use grenades. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> they they take too much time to manufacture. Okay, I have the squads again ready to head out. But where? So I suppose once we already uh, checked out an area, there's just no point going there. I mean, we could we could trigger a search here. Let me just go over there here. I think like popping searches on uh, land masses would be the best. Uh, no one is giving me a- Oh shit! We got recruit here. Let's check it out. Edge, Mobius, Maverick. It- It cost me, uh, 400 food to do it. Um... Maybe we go over here. Pick up this Maverick guy. He comes back home. We pop a search there. I'm kinda curious if this gonna do anything. 
Okay, let's check out the Haven info. We recruit this soldier. He's a sniper. Perfect. Uh, we get him on board. Although, he shouldn't be fully on board. We need gear for him. And, uh, for that, he's gonna leave the... Manticore one. <laughs> Manufacturing... Yeah, just give him some sniper gear. Banshee. Banshee, Banshee. And a sniper rifle. Mm, yeah, just a sniper rifle. And I guess that doesn't have to be... Oh, man. Can I change there? I don't want it to the top. Let's put the Hell Cannon to the top. Let's finish the Hell Cannon. If we finish the Hell Cannon, we, I believe, actually will have access to another game. It's, it only costs us three hours. Construction complete. Okay. No, that, that was a base construction complete. <laughs> I got a little excited there. So, manufacturing is complete. And with that, we have, oh my god, Bernando can be part, on the, uh, part of the team on the Manticore, and he needs to have an armor, he, not this one, uh, we make a, a change, Fred is gonna receive training in heavy weapons, So, Fred can use the Hell Cannon. That's gotta be the main weapon of his for now. Um, how do we take out stuff? Do I need to. Okay. I mean, I mean, guess that works. Just put it on. Uh, this is a heavier ammo. Sure. I mean, that's fine, I guess. I wouldn't mind taking a, a grenade here, but whatever. And the new guy has a rifle now. Let's get some ammo for it. He's gonna take that. Then that's it. <laughs> There's nothing else we can take. Actually, it would be even better if we took two heels and just one extra clip so the new guy is really trying not to die Edge Mobius Maverick do we know anything about her? no, she's just a sniper I mean, that's fine by me yeah, just try to get some sniper gear for her and everyone else is kinda ready yeah, I'll just play like this alright, cool um, so, we have a bigger squad now. Two searchers. Let's go over there. Did we find something new? Um, not an area scan. Let's just explore. Area scans cost us resources. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I don't want that. Let's just get stuff with the research. <clears throat> uh, let's just search the school. Mats and food. Cool. What else? Keep exploring. If we get into a scuffle, we're gonna be fine. Oh shit! We can get a guy here. Um, it's a uh, heavy. It's. It's damn close. I don't think there's a point in recruiting him right now because we just can't can't get him gear. So yeah. All right, but I mean it's good to know. Wait. Oh, okay. So, we can actually recruit another soldier here. And another soldier here. 
So, sure. Explore. Explore. Why is it taking forever? Wait, is, is it not working? The game was being weird. We were just looking at it and not exploring. <clears throat> Phantom's Forge. Phantom's Forge is one of the stranger independent havens. Cybernetics are mandatory here. Wow. Every single inhabitant is as much machine as flesh. The Haven's leader, Ryan Dustin Wood, is a frightening eccentric figure who rules with an iron fist, literally. Dark rumors about his excesses in pursuit of mechanical perfection circulate in other havens, but the inhabitants seem happy enough, assuming those are real smiles and real teeth. Uh, philosophically, Wood is most open to new Jericho, although he disdains their obsessions obsession with uh, primitive humanity, but right now, New Jericho has uh, what he needs and ideological matters are secondary. They're working on uh, the tech I need, he hisses. I know, a new generation of cyber cybernetic uh, implants. We had a deal. They promised they would deliver, but they didn't. Keeping it all for themselves. Profit first, progress later. <laughs> Liars! Wood wants us to infiltrate a new... That's not Wood now. Wood wants us to infiltrate a new Jericho lab and retrieve the blueprints for the cybernetic prototypes they are developing. He's willing to pay for our services. Let's fucking do it! Sounds good to me. Uh, let's do an area scan. Scan complete. Our operatives report seeing a strange, spindly, quivering line on the horizon. When the Manticore run gets closer, they discover a gargantuan spinal column extending hundreds of meters into the sky, rising up from a pool of mucus. It holds itself in place with an array of ten near-transparent tentacles. It seems to emit a low hum. Dynamite it, study it. Let the disciples know about this. Fuck that shit up. Let's study it. I think we need more information. We got 100 research. It almost seems like the whole thing is some kind of emitter, an organic communications array perhaps, but to what end? Our operatives retrieve as much data as they can, but answers remain elusive. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to blow it up. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to do that. Okay, now we have access to Phoenix Shotgun, which deals 40 damage, 8 times, 320 damage, effective range, pathetic, action points, uh, okay, and ammo cap is 48, hence to use 2, weight of 3, looks pretty good. Um... I'm not manufacturing it, we're just gonna keep going and keep exploring. At the Disciples of Anu, haven of uh, Kisura, a mu mutative worm infestation is causing serious problems. The locals had placed their hopes in uh, Taxiarch Nergal, the Disciples' greatest military hero, but Nergal is set to be fighting a series of pitched battles against the Pandorans and has unable to help. We could eradicate the infestation ourselves, helping the haven and creating a good first impression with this faction. Okay. Uh, it's not really a minor inconvenience, right? Let's be real here. Oh my god, we need more stuff. Come on. Not having ammo? That is not a minor inconvenience. Oh, by the way, you're not bringing bullets. I mean, I mean, that's good to know. What's next? Not bringing guns? I mean, seems like we are kind of ready or as ready as we ever gonna be. So let's deploy the squad. If the shotgun deals 320 damage, and compared to that, the heavy weapon is not that impressive at all. Although, there's an argument to be made. 
that the heavy weapon actually uh, shreds armor and pierces through uh, armor quite effectively. For example, if the enemy has 30 armor or even 20 armor and we deal 180 damage, then our damage becomes 160. But if we deal 360 damage and the enemy has 20 armor, then we still deal 160. However, if he has 30 armor, then oh, oh boy, we are fucked. Well, okay then. What is this? No timer here. No rush. So let's just play it safe. I don't really like it because there are a lot of things in the way. Receiving loud and clear. I think we're just gonna wait around. Channel open. Let's do this. I'm just going back. Oh range. shit. We got a fire worm. Can we kill it from over here? We can spot the fire worm from over here. That's a heavy one. Heavy gun. Are we... Okay. So maybe we've got to deal with a lot of fireworms here. I'm ready. Okay. I see them. Another fireworm. Let's do this. Another fireworm. That seems like a decent shot as as far as this rifle is concerned. Oh no. I don't want to get blown up. I don't have explosives, really. I mean, I have some. But not a lot. Here. Considering that we're only dealing with fireworms for now. I mean, those are kind of hard to kill. Hard to hit. Channel open. I'm on overwatch. Okay. Maybe nothing from the bottom right corner, please. Okay. And this one is down. Um, we can't fight, uh, shoot anymore, so... I just go back for now and enter. Two slugs are making uh, a beeline for me. I make three of them. Oh shit. What the fuck is that? Do I want to dash toward the slug? I don't. I don't want to do that. Ready to fire. If we got close to the slug, it would be actually guaranteed that we kill it. I can even punch it to death, I believe. Targeting. Yeah. Uh, we'll explore that possibility some other time. Moving now. <laughs> I'm on Overwatch. Oh boy. Whatever is hiding over there, it's probably something we should uh, be careful of. I just Let's go back. I just don't want to get overrun by the fireworms. Got this covered. Uh, you have a decent spot here. Holding position. Oh shit. That's at least fire five fireworms I knew about. Look at this. What? Three fireworms? So that means eight fireworms I knew about. This is a fireworm launcher. 
Folge gefuckt. I have an explosive. Can we throw it on these fireworms here? Doing it? I mean, apparently it's it's doable. We don't know if it's gonna kill anybody, but I know it's gonna kill two fireworms. Now, that seems pretty good to me. Oh, we can't make the shot. Oh, we can only make the the hit if it's uh, red. I mean, that's fair enough. Can we just go back a little bit? Executing. <clears throat> a little bit more. Doing it. Should be doable eventually. Oh yeah, we can make the shot over there. Kill confirmed. Okay. I really hope it actually kills two slugs. <clears throat> Moving. I just go to the in the back. I'm ready. That's a lot of fire slugs. What's our plan? So we need to keep dealing with the fire slugs while somebody actually... Well, I don't know. No, no, we gotta keep dealing with the fire slugs because the fire uh, slug uh, launcher over there at most can deal... Uh, well, so far only did three fire slugs. So maybe that's that's the maximum it can do. I feel like we're just gonna get rushed, rushed down. But at the same time, it's holding position. Closing in on them is the worst idea. Receiving loud and clear. Channel open. We can only shoot at one of them. We can do a dash. We can start bashing them. Okay, let's kill one. That's not a great shot. I can't get a line of sight on the worms. If I'm overwatching, then we can come over here. Just take out one of them. If possible. Or just run back. No. Let's all watch like this. Got this covered. And you have no value. Took one down. Oh shit, there's one over there. Uh. That's what I'm talking about. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Way too many slugs. At least we're spreading out. Oh shit, even more slugs? Are they- are the slugs fire resistant? Immune to fire, so they can go through their own fire all day long. Here. Okay. What the fuck is over here? <laughs> Considering that the heavy weapon is completely useless to deal with the slugs, I'm kind of considering c coming over here. Let's see now. I just see what the fuck we're dealing with here. And while the others kind of try to deal with the slug infestation. Okay. It's a Shiran. And, uh... Perform stomping attack affecting 10 tile radius with a chance to shock, damage diminishes with range. Okay. And we know that it can launch. It's pretty tanky. We can't do anything with it right now. We need to stay back. You need to Leaving. run back. Dash back. Maybe. 
Maybe dash over here. Um, good question. Loud and clear. Targeting. That was a kill. Okay. Well, I think it's, we can we can probably take out the worm that's close to us with a pistol. Let's try it. Ready to fire. That seems like a decent aim. One less to worry about. Okay. Receiving. You have to go for a heal. There's always time for R and R. Does that remove burning? No. We're burning for fruity a term. <sighs> She's having a bad time. We need to go back. Also, heavy weapon can be the only weapon we use. This is kind of useless. Heavy weapon is completely useless here. I don't know where to go. I mean, I can just cool back a little bit. Heading out. Set up a, a sniper Overwatch. I'm on Overwatch. We can be surprised from there. We very likely won't be surprised if you come over here. Yeah, I think for now, you might just come a little closer. But we can't shoot, so enter. Wait, do we actually have more of those? That's not what you want to see. I think there's another one in the distance. Something over there. More fireworms. Disabled arm, disabled head. So they can't fire anymore. She's useless and she's bleeding. Receiving loud and clear. That's actually really bad news. But I guess we at least didn't die. Okay, can you just make a shot on that worm? Please. Oh, we can't even see the worm? I don't want to get close, though. What if you get close and punch the worm, then go away? Moving out. Moving. <laughs> we damaged the hell cannon. Ready. Oh man, you're bleeding. Get your med kit out. Oh shit! You can't use your own med kit. What's our plan? Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! <sighs> Let's go, come over here. Enemy spotted who? Or which worm? Receiving I should say. Clear. Um, use medkit. Funny enough, I think she's gotta be the bait. Heading out. Because she's the only one What's our plan? that can't do anything. She can't even punch them. I just go back. Uh, can we do? We can't do an Overwatch. Oh man, this is so bad. Can we make a shot? Target missed. Oh no. So we can do a uh, a regular shot. What's our plan? I've got this covered. No. Does this fire? It seems like it doesn't fire. Launch multiple fireworms over long range. What if we try to shoot at it? Ready to engage. This seemed to hit. <laughs> well, that's gotta be a long. <laughs> 
Long time to kill. <laughs> Just gonna t what? What? What the hell? He's, he has 800 HP. Okay, fine. Whatever. Enter. That's too many worms. I'm having doubts about using a heavy weapon on my assault. Ah, uh, yeah. Plan. Is it possible to punch worms without the arms? I'm asking the big questions in life here. No free hands. Apparently it's not. I'm ready. So it's probably better if we come close, punch the worm. It seemed like so far, all melee hits were automatic. Successes. Let's see what we got here. Should we close in? Oh, this seems decent. Okay, it's bleeding now. Having another heavy for this scenario would be better than having an under assault with a heavy gun. So the sniper... I mean, I can see jack shit there. I mean, that might work. This seems like a better shot. That was a kill. I saw that. Uh, let's do an overwatch if the uh, slug tries to get close. It's dead. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, let's say you go back. Or maybe stay there. Just, we just spread out. We don't wanna get blown up at the same time. So, over there, you actually have a shot Moving on the now. worm. It's not a great shot. It's quite far away as well. I think I'm just gonna overwatch, so if the worm come, come close, we have something. Spotted. I think we have a grenade still. Oh, you're coming close? I like that. No! Where did you launch those worms? Off the map? They better be off the map. No surprises, please. Okay, let's look at the heavy. Two more hits. Or one more hit and very long time of bleeding out. Well, the slug definitely needs to be taken out. Ready to fire. Let's fire the weapon. Couldn't connect the shot. Okay, let's do sniper, that's guaranteed. Assault rifle. Yeah, we gotta take that shot. Shit. Connect the shot. Don't I have a grenade? What's our plan? I think the only one has. Well, she has a grenade. I 
I think there's gonna be an explosion. We should take out this worm. Can you go over there and give your grenade to the other other assaults? But in a way that makes the other assault able to use it right away and just take out two worms with it. Yeah, it works. So you just go away again. I just wanted your stuff. And uh, you're being useless. <laughs> I mean, you can do an overwatch. Enter. Die. Oh crap, he's killing himself! Fuck yeah! Let's do it! Oh. He went for a big stomp? Okay, he's dead now. He didn't even do his... Oh. That was not for no reason. He managed to daze us. Up here. Wow. How long is it gonna last? Because uh, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> I guess it's best if I stay up here. Because he destroys uh, objects. Okay. A lot of worms are dead. But... I don't want to get close. We need to reload the AR. We barely have bullets even in this one. God damn it. Why do they bring like partial I clips? I mean, I get it. In combat, fine. I get it. Like, you know, when you take out the clip, you're not just taking out the bullets. But when you go back home, wouldn't you, if you had like three partial clips, like half a clip, wouldn't you combine it? It was like, no, oh, I'm taking two half clips to the battle. Bullshit. Moving now. You wouldn't. Uh, let's do a sniper sh uh, overwatch, and he doesn't Heading really out. have a purpose here. Let's all move. Uh, let's just overwatch. I mean, we can try to <sighs> rush in on the guy. But the heavy seems to be doing a really good job. Can we make a shot now? No, he's still out of uh, 600 dazed. I think he's uh, days for days now, uh, and I don't know if there are any What's our plan? worms. I need to be concerned about. Okay, let's try to. Yeah, he's he's very far away. Is it possible that I hit him? I think it's far more likely that I just rush in all the way and next turn we may be able to hit him. Especially if I climb up on there. No fire slugs, okay? No sneaky fire slugs. If there are fire slugs out there, I want them to hit me right now. Uh, we don't have to be concerned about getting shot. Ready to fire. Alright. Wow. What? Enemy hit. Wow! Good job! I mean, you're just doing nothing. I think we're good. He's gonna die to uh, bleed damage. Assuming that's it. Yay! Okay, just XP for everybody. The new guy didn't get much XP. We're XP hugging. <laughs> Come on, he needs level ups too. So, wow. So we see that th there's a building back at the base that gives us 2 XP per hour. That's nothing. Wow. That means you have to spend at least 2 days back at the base to go from level 1 to level 2. Normally, when we encounter a potential ally, we first send the Apostle to the Onceborn to check them out. But I'm gonna break protocol to say thanks. What? Now listen, I'll be honest with you. The Exalted is the only one who has any real answers. Tobias West may be clever and Sinedrian may sound great, 
but only the exalted is dealing with the world as it actually is. She can lead us out of this mess. Give us lives worth living. That's what the other guy said. We'd like to know more. Oh, if shit. If you want to work with us, you'll still have to deal with the hierarchy. Work your way up from the apostle to the once born, to the keeper of the threshold, all the way up to the synod of yearning and the exalted herself. Oh my That's god. Work. You'll have to earn the knowledge you gain. But wow. trust me, it'll be worth it. So you guys if the synod gives you trouble, <laughs> let me know. I guess you guys are really into that circle jerk of uh, hierarchy. <laughs> okay, whatever, okay. Oh crap. Let's let's get these. Oh, item order in queue. Or maybe I can't afford it. No, no, no. I can't afford it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I wanted the grenade last time, but we still didn't get around to making it. <laughs> and grenade is definitely useful. They're not joining me. They don't like me that much. We have some food. We just don't have gear. Okay. Um, we have to send back the soldiers. Now, there's not much point uh, buying the guy before we need it, we, before we have gear for him. So, yeah. Let's go back home and just wait. But for now, I think, uh, wait. How are you doing? Ah, oh, come on. I, I got a little excited there. So there are vehicles in this game. That's the one. <laughs> are they queued it up? It has a good gun, apparently. Whatever. I can't make it. Because it takes four and a half days to make it. And I just... I kind of want to make it. I just, I just keep wasting time with bloody grenades and gear for other people and oh I think we already made a sniper for the new guy whatever I do want to make the scarab and after we have six uh, soldiers maybe the scarab is gonna be the next best thing of course getting more soldiers uh, that would be uh, pretty good too but uh, for now this is, this is good anyway guys that's for now thanks for watching and see you next time